were you allowing for the possibility that what had ended up happening with LeBron might happen, or had you just assumed that you'd be without him for a certain number of days? Yeah, I, t I was told that there was a possibility, but you know, I just I proceeded like he was going to be out until they tell me otherwise. So, and so you got the information that he's playing. Obviously, that's a very good thing for you. But what's what's the, is it just straight back to business with it, or is, was there any further thought about him returning and everything? No, they said he, he cleared the protocols and he was back. So obviously we're all excited and, um, you know, we started just adjusting where we were at from a game plan standpoint, um, you know, to what it means with him in. You mentioned at practice you weren't sure about Avery if you were going to use him, uh, even though he's uh, likely to be available. H have you decided further upon that? Yeah, well, I'm not going to start him, but he will be available and uh, we'll see if the game dictates we need him and he'll be in there. And then just with the lineup, Frank, is this going to be one of those days where you want to let us know what it's going to be? Or are you going to wait? Well, I already told you, I'm starting Dwight, uh, and I'll start tailing as well at the two. Frank, you kind of um, had hoped Talon would become a perimeter defender type stopper guy for you. Um, how has he done sort of on that track since he's been back? I know it hasn't been that long. How has he looked on film? Where does he need to improve? Um, just kind of how's that progression going as him as a defender? Yeah, some good, some bad. It's still super early. You know, he missed the first chunk of the season. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how many games he's played now. Um, you know, but obviously he missed a lot of time early. Um, you know, I think we're going to need the first, at least the first half of the season, you know, if not longer, to really uh, give the proper evaluation. Um, he's had some really good sequences on ball. Um, you know, he needs to work on not getting screened. Um, you know, and, uh, and obviously the containment issues, uh, you know, uh, against some of the elite players. But, um, you know, overall, he's got really good defensive instincts, uh, good toughness, uh, length, you know, obviously being able to, to deflect the ball. He's had some really outstanding plays at the basket, you know, blocking shots or, or having averts. And, um, you know, tonight will be one, another one of those challenges where he's got, you know, there's several uh, elite offensive players on the perimeter for the Clippers that he'll, he'll be matched up with. Frank, have you, did you have a team meeting this morning or any forum where you could kind of interact with LeBron and just gauge his reaction to, to clearing the protocols and, and being able to play? Yeah, we just had a team meeting, um, and I was able to interact with him. Yes. Characterize that, or is that private? Nope. LeBron's minutes are up big from last year, and some of that obviously you played a bunch of overtime games, uh, but he's also not, he hasn't played in a ton of games. So uh, the minute count versus the game count, I mean, you, it's all coming out in the wash, or is that something, assuming he can play a chunk of games without going out of the lineup, it's something you have to monitor? Yeah, we're always monitoring his, you know, his load and, um, you know, just being intelligent with it. Obviously, the, the overtime games are what they are. He's going to be in there for those. Um, he, he, like you said, he has missed some time. You know, the totality is, is uh, I think, less of a concern than, you know, um, you know, if you played a triple overtime game and you played the next night, you know, do you, you know, do you exercise caution in those, those instances? Um, you know, it's just something that, that literally we, we monitor on, on a daily basis. You know, we rely on the medical team and feedback from how he's feeling and, um, you know, make smart decisions.